Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Roy back at it again with another video. Yo, so I'm gonna do a different video today. It's a collection video. So, this is my 2017 Nintendo, like everything collection. So, anything that I have from Nintendo, anything. All right, so I'm, I think I'm gonna start off with my Game Boy Color games that I have. Um, I only have Pokemon games, so I just want to go over them with you. Um, so I'll start with the, let's say, the first three. Um, well, the first three that were released here in the USA. So, of course, we have Blue Version. All right, so that's one. We have Yellow Version. As you can see, it might not look yellow. Sorry, it's the lighting. So, But, yeah, that's Yellow Version. And this is Red Version. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite ones right there. Red version. All right, let's move on to second gen of you know Game Boy Color. Um, let's start off with uh, that Young Gold version, Pokemon Gold. Put it down. Oh, hold on. Got that Young Crystal version. Sorry, let it focus. But yeah, that's Crystal version. I'm not sure why it's not focusing, but yeah, sorry about that, guys. It's focusing on my hands for some reason. Um, and then we have, of course, silver version. Maybe if I do this, will it focus on there? Come on. Focus on that. Well, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's silver version. All right, let's go on to the Game Boy Advance games. Let me move these um, to this side right here. Right there. All right, so let's move on to, um, let's say, third gen Pokemon for the Game Boy Advance. So, of course, I have Ruby version, Sapphire, Emerald. And let's move on to, of course, the remakes of, you know, first gen. We got Leaf Green and Fire Red. Now, you guys might be saying... Yo, why are you showing this? You don't even have the boxes. Sorry, guys. You know, it's it's kind of expensive to, you know, get the boxes, especially for these early games, you know. So next, I want to move over to my DS collection. All right. So hold on. I'm going to take out a couple of systems. Um, I don't have a Nintendo DS, like a DS Lite or a DS or, you know, uh, let's say what's the other one called DSI no I don't have any of those unfortunately so let's just start off with Pokemon Soul Silver now for Soul Silver I do have everything I have the of course the manuals in there I have you know of course Soul Silver the box open it up you got your manuals the game and then of course that young pokey walker yes i actually bought everything individually i bought the cartridge itself for about 50 bucks the case for for 25 with the, with the box and then i got this for like christmas for my friend so everything's separate but yeah i got it you know that's all that mattered um you know of course we have pro version now these are custom cases you know it's it's kind of hard you know to get the cases for every game and then we have diamond version. My goodness. And there you go, diamond right there. Now I printed out these uh these uh of course the the art, the cover art. So this platinum version. Let me know what you guys think about the the cover art. I try to do uh as best of a good job as possible on them. And of course we have heart gold. I don't have the box like so silver, but I got the game. And then let's move on. So these are original copies, you can tell. They don't have like an outline or anything like that. Soul Silver is an original copy, just to, you know, for any questions. But this is black, you know, version two. Manuals. And of course, black version two right there. This is black, so this is a custom case. You can see the white lining. There's the game. This is white version, the first one. Of course, it's an original copy. Got the manuals in there, and of course the game. And this is white version 2. I put it in a new case, but it's the original cover art. Um, 
original game, of course, you know, right there the, with the manuals. You know, so I bought like a whole like stack of games. And just to go over, this is my Nintendo, you know, SP, well, Game Boy Advance SP. And this is the AGS 101. You know, so you have, you know, lower, brighter, lower, brighter. This is my favorite model. My favorite model right here. I had it customly made. Uh, I bought the shell. The buttons are from a different uh, SP. I just wanted to make it my own, you know. I swap, swapped out the battery and everything. That's why it has a new um, casing right there. And, of course, uh, let's go on to my 3DS collection. Oh, no, hold on. I still have uh, Nintendo DS games. Sorry. But these are without the case. So, of course, we have Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, Mystery Dungeon Explorer of Sky, uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorer of Darkness, and Explorer of Time. Those are all the DS versions of Mystery Dungeon. I am I do not have Mystery Red Dungeon Red Rescue Team, and that's for the Game Boy Advance. Um, Game Boy Advance, just Game Boy Advance. I don't have that one. All right. Let's move on to my 3DS. My 3DS collection involves a lot more than just Pokemon. So let's go over, um, you know what, let's start off with, uh, let's see, the non-Pokemon games, right? The non-Pokemon games. Let's start off with those. All right, guys. So let's start off with Corpse Party, Collector's Edition, you know, the back to school edition, sorry, with the two figurines. Here's the game. And just to let you know it's real, boom. That's the game, guys. I love this game. This game was really good. Uh, this is Zelda Ocarina of Time. I went, when they released this as a Nintendo Selects, I was so happy because everybody was reselling the original Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D for so much money. So I just bought it brand new. I was like, ha, I paid, you know, 15 bucks, 20 bucks brand new at Best Buy. While everybody was paying so much money. Of course, one of my favorites, Terraria. This was really hard to find, actually. I had to go into, like, some weird place called Play and Trade. Yeah, it was... Oh, my goodness, guys. Shovel Knight. Very hard game to find. You can buy it online. But here in where I live, this, this copy was nowhere to be found in any retail store. I found it uh, just laying in a, in a case um, on, at Target. I bought it for 20 bucks. Brand new. I was so happy I found it. I was like, oh my god, what a find. And then we go Final Fantasy Explorers. I have actually not played this. I bought this pre owned at GameStop. Oh, Kingdom Hearts 3D. Now, this is a good game. This was actually hard for me to find. I had to actually buy it pre owned. Um, I cleaned up the case a bit because, you know. Some people are just nasty with it. I like to keep my stuff in, you know, pretty good condition. There we go. And, of course, Bravely Default. I don't have the first. Wait, this is the first. Wait. This is the first part. Yes, this is the first part. Um, Bravely Second, I don't have it. But Bravely Default, I do have it. This game, fantastic game. Um, I think they refer to it as a JRPG. Fantastic game. I don't like JRPGs, but this game was amazing like i would give it 10 out of 10 for sure all right so let me move these out of the way all right now to go on to the pokemon games of you know the 3ds there goes pokemon mystery dungeon gates of infinity i have not actually opened this one i found it at a play and trade brand spanking new i was like oh my god i was like I was at the point where I was like, should I just buy the digital copy? But then I'm like, when I found it, when I found it, you know, brand new in the box, still sealed. I was like, I don't even know if I want to open this. And here we go. Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. I, this is still brand new. Um, I haven't opened it. I haven't played it. Um, I actually got to play my friends because um, I didn't actually want to open this one. <laughs> but yeah, it's a great game. I put about like maybe 200 hours into it. Um... I'll be honest, guys, I explore every little thing, try to get every bit of, you know, experience. Um, and I try to do every quest as possible. And, of course, I um, I delete my save game. I start new games with different Pokemon just to see how it is, you know. 
And here we go. Pokemon Omega Ruby, the remake of Ruby version for the Game Boy Advance. This is a great game. It was an amazing game, I, I would say. Like, hands down, uh, best, you know, Rayquaza Deoxys moment I've ever had going into space. And of course, you have Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Man. Sorry, guys. I'm like jingling the camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and here we go. Pokemon X. Wonderful game. I didn't like it too much. Um, I spent most of my time playing Ruby version and Sapphire. It's Pokemon Y. Again, I was not a fan of these games. I'll be honest. I'm sorry. Not a fan. But I'm, I'm stuck in like first and second gen and third gen. And then, of course, you know, Sun and Moon. There we go. There you go. Oh, sorry. I have the game right now on my DS. Um, so don't worry about it. I do have the games. Um, this is Sun version. Now, I didn't buy the games, of course, separate. I bought them together in what's it called? A dual pack where it came with like 200 Pokeballs. Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon. Fantastic. I kept the box because, you know, Pokemon games tend to, you know, uh, stick with their value. And, of course, when that came out, I had to get the new Nintendo 3DS XL, you know, Solgaleo Lunala Black Edition. Um... And, you know, I didn't want to get, like, a case for it, so I got, like, a clear case so I can show off, you know, that I have it. Um, I probably only used this about a couple of times. It's probably going to go back into its case soon enough when the Nintendo Switch comes out um, because, you know, these are going to be worth, you know, they're just so, they're worth a lot, you know, at this point because, you know, these were only done with pre-order. Luckily, somebody didn't pick up their pre-order at GameStop, and I just copped their, you know, their copy. Sorry, bro. Mine. And of course, I have the Nintendo 3DS Super Mario 3D Land Edition. Now, this this guy right here is from my biggest video, um, of course, my most popular video. Uh, well, second most popular video because my 2DS that I ended up giving for Christmas to my little cousin was, you know, the most popular one. So it came with the the Super Mario face plates, and it came with the these Zelda like you know other the yellow face plates I do apologize it doesn't focus that well um, but I ended up buying some face plates online because you know during the holiday season like November um, during Black Friday they had you know these two Nintendos the white one and the black one that came with these face plates and I love that when I wasn't able to get it for a hundred bucks this costed around hundred and forty nine ninety nine and I was like you know what let me just pick it up I have Moon Edition right there. And I like this one. I had to get something like this. It's smaller than the 3DS XL. It's just a regular 3DS. Um, but, you know, you can switch out the face plates. And for me, that's huge. It keeps everything, you know, brand spanking new. So, you know, those are my uh, those are my games. That's my Nintendo collection so far. You know? Um, I'm not even sure. Like, I got so many games, guys. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do like a PS Vita, you know, game collection. I do have a couple of games for the PS Vita. Um, but this is so far, this is what I have for the Nintendo, um, side, you know, Game Boy Advance. Well, Game Boy Color all the way to the Game Boy Advance. The reason I don't have a Game Boy Color, I know you guys are like, why don't you get a Game Boy Color? Color. Well, the thing is like, I don't know how to mod a Game Boy Color, you know, so it can have like a backlit screen. So I just use DSP to play, you know, the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance games. Um just because of you know it's it's just better you know so you know that's it guys right there that's my collection let me know if you guys want me to do like a ps vita or even my pokemon card collection let me know guys uh thanks for watching this video to the end um hope to catch you guys on the next one deuces